Drop it. Hey everybody, I'm just going to show you guys some steps on to getting back online uh, with your Xbox wise. Uh, you'll have a visual aid right here for the Xbox, so I'll show you all the steps that I possibly know and probably that are even possibly out there really, but uh, um, I'll show you how to uh, get back online with your Xbox T or router or modem whatever and I'll also give you some tips on how to fix your router if you've tried everything because I've had every problem known to man freaking kind so uh, I always like I never even read these things anymore they prompt you with the how to fix it I don't ever read those anymore because they never help I always have to figure random things out on my own so if you're kinda like me I'll show you how to do some stuff right here and yeah so on here you'll have the visual aid and the tips by the way for the internet and router and all that resetting that you'll, there will be no visual aid I'll just give you some quick tips on how to try to do that if you want to uh, stay and listen to that it's your choice but anyway we'll get into it so your network settings right here you can see that you're connected half the time I'll have like all four bars but I'm not connected because usually that's it's 50% 50 50 of the time it's the Xbox, 50% of the time it's the freaking router, so you go either way with it, any of them, try anything really. Um, but you go ahead and click on whatever your thing is. I'm going to stay on because I really don't need to be disconnected to do this. I don't need to, you I mean, it doesn't matter. So um, we'll get into it right here. So um, what I always do first is I just look at my automatic it's or whatever you're running on if you do your manual or automatic if you're on whichever one you're on try switching it that actually helps me a lot sometimes so what you're gonna do is uh, before you click on it you'll see that you have all your settings there your numbers your IP address and all that stuff so that so go ahead and uh, what you want to do is you can either write it down or you can just try and remember it I usually just remember it and then uh, I'll be like oh okay and then I click on it I go to manual and you type all of those in individually you could see I already have done that and then you just go to done if you want to do manual but I don't want to be on manual because that'll kick me off anyway it's stupid um, and then you go to this down here memorize those two and you also go over to menu or manual right here and then you uh, it'll just it'll set it sets like a different internet path or some stupid I really don't know but I don't care because it works so whatever um, the most common way that I do it though I do like bef after this like sometimes if I know it's not gonna work because it's just really stupid like such as getting hit off by fat sweaty queef um, that's uh, usually I can just go over here restore my factory defaults which all it does all that does is it just takes all of what all these numbers you see right here on this whole entire screen they poof away and so what you want to do before you ever do that erase it all is you probably want to write it down first and you'll have to come back in after you type in your code and uh it'll you'll you'll it'll go it'll go to here and when you reset it to factory defaults it'll kick you off your whole entire thing and you'll have to go and type in your code again and you'll have to uh reconfigure your internet to the uh to your proper your internet you know your thing so once you've done that um usually it will set it up automatically like if you disconnect your internet from your thing it'll uh it'll say uh automatic and it'll have zero 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 have like all the zeros nothing there so what you want to do again configure your network and um as previously what i was saying earlier if you if you saw your numbers then you can type them in that's why it's probably best to write them down because then you can just type them in you'll be like oh cool and then you can uh manually do it and then it'll switch back to automatic later on um that's what I always do. It usually never automatically sets it for me, but if it does for you, that's good. I don't know why I set it out of that. Okay, so another way you can do it is right here where it says disconnect. If you hit the Y button, it'll disconnect you from that. I'm obviously not going to, like I said, because that's dumb, and I don't need to be offline. Um, so if you disconnect it, it'll just do the same thing as resetting the factory defaults, only it doesn't erase everything. It'll automatically renew everything that you had before. It'll re-upload it and all that. Um, and you won't have to type it in manually if it doesn't work. So uh, then you could try that, too. And um, another thing you can do is uh, back to these steps like I just said. You can also disconnect it or you can restore factory defaults and then turn off your Xbox and it will refresh everything if you want to try that. And then uh, when you turn it back on it should say like a prompt should come up and it should say uh, like there's a wireless configuration or whatever you're using wired configuration would you like to configure it and then you go yeah and whatever the case is so then uh, and then you type in your code again your internet password or web key phrase whatever you have for that um 
So that's actually those are all the ways I've done it on here. I ch I asked I asked the people about doing this stuff and they told me some ridiculous thing that I don't even I wasn't really listening cuz it wasn't important. So, you know, whatever. Um so as far as these things go right here, I have no idea. You I don't know. I wouldn't mess with it. Um so, yeah, that's really all about it. And then once you're done with everything, you want to test your connection and see what's going on. Um if your Xbox 360 fails, uh, like the very first step right there. If that one fails, that's usually just your Xbox. The one that's, I mean, it's kind of simple right out there. It's your Xbox that is having the issue. But it, like one percent of the time, it could be the internet. I've only had one problem with it. it. Was I just, and it was just a basic step. Like I, all I had to do is reset the router just regularly without having to do anything else. Um, second step, the internet to uh, or your your internet to the global thing right there, internet. Um, you have to, uh, that, or I mean, yeah, that, that one, you have to do your router. Usually that usually is a router problem, but, uh, it could also be the Xbox problem. So I always, what I always like to do is I like to try everything on the Xbox first. And if everything I try doesn't work, then I do the internet. Cause I mean, like why, why go up wherever your router is and, you know, mess with it when you could sit here and do it and, you know, possibly screw up your settings on the router when they don't need to be messed with. Um, and the internet to Xbox Live, I've actually never had that fail on me ever. So, um, I th I've had friends that have had it though, cause I've never actually been on when they were like performing maintenance on their stuff. And that's usually when it's, uh, when something like if they, if their servers are down or some ridiculous thing, that's usually their end. But if you ever get a fail thing on that, just try all the steps I showed you and, and then, uh, we'll go into the internet too. We'll go into the router stuff right now but again there's no visual aid I'll just kinda voice it to you and then you can you know try and follow my steps as best um, as you can um, so I'm not sure how it easily I, I, I would think that my router is kinda similar to your guys's and stuff I really don't know but I have Xfinity and it is a uh, I have their highest paying like highest or what, what am I saying I have their priciest we'll say they're priciest that's a fun word well i have their priciest uh <laughs> router to buy or modem whatever it is i have their best one you can buy it's the best one that gives the best uh internet connection slash uh, uh as many like configuration configured devices you can have to it and it'll have like a configuration list that tells you that on there anyway when you go in usually you're if you're if you haven't messed with your password on your uh actually let me tell you this first when you go into configure network, you'll see your gateway. Whatever, if you don't know this already, your gateway is your ISP's uh, web address type deal. So if you just go onto Google or whatever you use, um, type in your address bar, your gateway right there. So if I was to search up my thing right now, it would be a uh, 10.0.0.1. I type just that in the address bar and hit enter, and it would take me right to their website. So whatever, whoever you have or whatever, whatever's going on there, just type in the gateway. Um, it'll bring you to your internet service provider's website and then you can go in there and uh, as I was just about to say your password if you haven't reset it or changed it to however you want it your password is um, usually uh, for me at least it's admin and then password is the password so username is admin A-D-M-I-N password is password um, unless you've changed it and you happen to know what it is then you know if you don't know what it is then I can't help you there but uh if you do know how to get in there, then go in there and you. One of the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your uh, troubleshooting. Mine's called troubleshooting and slash like uh, di diagnostic tools. So you can go into your troubleshoot and you can reset like everything that your Wi-Fi has to do with. You can reset your Wi-Fi. You can reset your router, your Wi-Fi module, your. Uh, you can reset your uh, what is it? the gateway as well. So you can also reset your gateway, which is usually the main problem with me. If I just reset the gateway, it'll usually fix it. But you can also restore it to factory defaults, which um, if you do that, that's actually what I've done a couple times, and it's helped. Um, I reset my whole entire thing to factory defaults, and it doesn't mess anything up that you can't fix easy. So the only things that'll mess up that I know of yeah, pretty sure. I think these are the only ones. Is uh, it'll mess up your firewall system. It'll set it to its lowest setting. But all you have to do is log back in after you're done, and then set it back up to high. Not hard. 
um, it'll reset your password to getting on here. So if you were to disconnect it with this Y button right here and then go back into it, it'd ask you for your password or web key phrase. It would reset that too. So it'll, and, and all that is, all that number is, is uh, all the, the code, all it is, is it's on the bottom. It should be on the bottom of your router. That's usually where it is. It'll have like a little label. It'll say like web key phrase or WPA2 or whatever. And it'll have a little sequence of numbers and letters. That should be your password for this and then once you get that back in and you sign back in and everything oh oh and and of course um if you did change your password for username and your username and password to get into your ISP's website that'll change back to admin and password at least it does for me so i'm not sure for you guys just try it you know see if it works um so uh back to what i was just saying so when you go back into your uh internet Thing, their website um, so when you go back into it it'll erase your firewall thing you just set that back your code to get online the web key it'll just set it to the number and once you type that back in you can reset everything back to the way you wanted it to be the first time so if you're if you're I don't know your username and password was like ceramic poopy balls or whatever you wanted it to be then you can change it back to that after you've typed in its original default code um, Another thing for me at least, I don't know. These are all for me at least, basically, because I'm not sure how everyone's. But uh, but um, my router. So if you hold it, if you there's a button, there's a reset button on the back. You have to get like a tiny pencil or, or uh, uh, just a pencil or a pen or some type of little thing with a tiny point, and you got to stick it in the hole, giggity, and you got to push it. You, you you can you can just push it if you want. Push the button inside. It'll reset your router normally, or you can hold the button down inside with your pencil or whatever. And if you hold it down, it will, uh, if you, let's see, two to five seconds, I think it says. Yeah, two to five seconds for me. If you hold it for two to five seconds, that'll actually reset your uh, factory defaults anyway. So if you do that, then your passwords, like I was saying before, will be uh, back to the original, how they were too. So you could do it that way, or you can go onto your actual website and do all the stuff with it. You can do reset everything and then re reset your default settings. That's usually what I do. I reset the gateway, and then I reset the module, and then the router, and then the settings after I do everything else. But I never have anything. Uh, I never custom password, or I don't. I never made a custom password or username or anything on there. The only thing I ever have to worry about is the firewall, because I never had anything else changed. Which brings me to my next thing, actually. Um, the firewall. Uh, that was actually my most recent problem. Uh, so just another tip here. I'm not sure if this happens to happen to you guys or whatever, but if any if you've lost all hope like I did, um try setting your firewall to the lowest setting. So you could try resetting your like uh, router and all that, but what I did was I uh put my firewall on the lowest setting. It has like three settings. It's like low, middle, and high. I, it was on high and I put it to low and none of our game consoles were able to connect online but our internet or our internet was working and our laptops and our phones were connected but no console in our house so we have two PS3s, Xbox 360 and the PS4 none of it was working and no, no, like no system at all so um I guess for some reason the high security whatever was uh not trusting our consoles so it basically was just like not letting them connect. So if you want to try that, if you just lost all hope and you don't know what to do, try setting your firewall to the lowest setting, then like resetting your gateway. Or not your gateway, just your router. Just reset your router after you do that so to like reconfigure it, like, you know, just double make sure. And then try and connect your stuff on here. And that's uh, that was just the, that was the most recent really random stupid problem that I had that made absolutely no sense. But, um... Yeah, that's that should be it. That's that's really all I know about that. Um if you know of any other uh if you know of any other ways to do it on the Xbox or do it on the internet that I didn't or on your ISP's, you know, website, if I didn't, you know, say anything or go over anything that you maybe have done in the past and it worked for you and I didn't mention it, go ahead and tell me about it and then I'll I'll uh put it in like another video or I'll, you know, post another comment and let everybody know uh, that you found another way to do it and then there's more ways possible than I you know thought there were or whatever I'm sure there is um, and I'll give you credit for it of course um, yeah so if I did help you or if any of this was knowledgeable for you like whip do you know uh, just let me know you know comment 
and subscribe if I helped you. I don't really care. You know, just do anything. Just do get a, get a, get the word out there. Get the video out there if I really did help you. These are all the ways I know of.